Good morning, day 106. It's about 47 degrees and it's uh, 5.40. Time to get up. Look at that. New air mattress. Let's go. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes suck, literally. Ugh. Uh, okay, we are at Christie's Springs. This is where we uh, spent the night last night. I slept right down there. And uh, we are, we've got 14.4 miles this morning before the first water. So I've got a little extra water. So I'm a little heavy. But moving on down the trail. This is mile uh, 1799.3. I get to do the limbo. And uh, sink. In seven tenths of a mile, we hit 1800 miles. Tomorrow we'll come into Mazuma for a quick resupply just grab a few things and then I think keep keep on keeping on uh, go around Crater Lake so day after tomorrow we'll or even maybe tomorrow we'll start around Crater Lake Today, the, this first 14.4 miles to the water source is uh, only like 1,400 feet up. So um, I haven't started it yet, so <laughs> maybe it'll all come right at the end. It seems like so far this morning I've just been moving along flat, if not mostly downish. But uh, Hopefully we'll get a little bit up here and there so it's not all at once. But if it's all at once, that's all right too. So I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate you subscribing and liking and commenting. This has been an epic journey and I've glad you've joined me on it and if you're planning someday to do this do it and if you think you can't do it you probably can you know I remember in my uh, uh, my announcement video I I mentioned Henry Ford's comment, if you think you can or you can't, you're right. There's a lot about the attitude and the mental, uh, you know, the mental aspect of this hike. And I remember saying in that video, I think I can. And I remember getting out here and thinking, I think I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh just keep pushing and I definitely think I can now and uh, I think I'm gonna so you can too and you can start off slow like I did doing 10 12 miles a day and work up to it My left calf muscle is kind of acting a little funny this morning. It started yesterday. I slowed down because it started, my left calf muscle started giving me a little twinge. You know, it's always, it's always something, but, uh, 
you know, since I pulled that before, I'm a little more cautious and uh, I don't want to pull it again because I know how bad that hurts and that'll take days, if not weeks, to heal. So I'm going slow this morning trying to warm it up a little bit, but get these little twinges in it. Uh, when I stop here a couple hours, I'll uh, try to give it a good rub. Okay guys, we'll uh, we'll see you a little bit down the trail. Oh, I was wrong when I said we were at $17.99. That is uh that is where I am going. That is where the that's like now it's like 13 miles or something ahead. That is uh the water source. So back there I was like I don't know, $17.85 or something. So Just correcting that so that you're not like, wait, this doesn't look like you said it looked like when you get here. Mile 789.2, we've gone about 4.5 miles this morning and climbed up about 110 feet. Man, that climb was brutal. No, it's been a really cruisy trail this morning so far, but thank goodness, uh, since my left calf keeps tweaking, giving me a little twinge of pain here and there. I tried stretching it out. We'll stop here in about another 20 minutes or so and give it a good rub. But uh, this first 1,400, 14 miles, I think is like 1,400 feet, but the first four miles, four and a half miles that we've gone, we've only climbed about a hundred. So it's uh, just been flat down, flattened down. Pretty nice. I came from back there been doing a little bit of climbing. We're at mile 1792.2. And I've got a little bit of phone signal. So I think I'll have a sit and call Tony. Just came uh, across there and uh, entering into the woods here. Been doing a little bit of climbing and uh, got a little bit more to do before I get to the water. But the water's in like 1.4 miles. No, that's not where. Water is not in 1.4 miles. We're just going to stop and have lunch at a, in 1.4 miles. We are at 1797.3. There is the view. There is Mount Shasta over there. There is a little bit of snow here to cross, but actually I'm glad because I'm going to shove a bunch of it in my bottle because I'm thirsty, even though I'm only 0.9 miles away. From the spring, I'm going to collect a little snow. Big day today. We're going to go over mile 1800. 
and uh, that's cool. I mean, tomorrow we'll get in close to Crater Lake. We'll do Crater Lake the day after. I mean, Oregon's clicking through, and uh, the trail's pretty, pretty cruisy for the next two miles or so until we find a spot to camp. It's uh, I think 20 feet up and like 540 feet down to where we're going to look for a flat spot to put our tents. And that'll be today. I think it'll be, I think it's like 14 or 15 miles. I'll put a summary at the end. Today I'm listening to a third book written by Dr. Gary Tobbs. Um, I'm not sure if he's a medical doctor or a PhD type doctor, I'm not sure. But when I mentioned that uh, our obesity epidemic is uh, a result of, uh, well, a hormonal issue, not a, not as a, a lot of people think, uh, a person's failure to control themselves or their slothfulness, but it's a metabolic disease that needs to be addressed from the metabolic angle that happens in the body. My good friend who I've known since I was a kid and who is, uh, I respect his intelligence, said in a comment, he totally agrees with me. Uh, the primary hormone that drives uh, weight gain, fat accumulation is uh, insulin. And I might add that that hormone is also the hormone that prevents us from accessing our fat stores and uh, perpetuates uh, this metabolic process uh, through insulin resistance. But uh, anyway, I'm on the third book by Dr. Gary Tobbs and uh, enjoying the books. Thanks for recommending them, Scott. And uh, we'll get, I'll give a book report later. <laughs> so, uh, right now I'm just going to relax and cruise into a camping spot for the night. And uh, I'll catch you there and show you once we've got tents set up. I should look at my phone. 1800 miles is coming up close. I'll make sure I don't miss showing you what it looks like at 1800 miles. <laughs> it just clicked over. We are at 1800. And there was much rejoicing. <laughs> 1800 miles. Wow. Okay, that's a good mile marker. And this is what it looks like at 1,800 miles. You're on a gentle down for at least a couple miles. So take it easy and rejoice in going 1,800 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. All right, it looks like someone actually did it. <laughs> but uh, I think my... My phone said I clicked over to 1800 back there where I did. It was just 30 seconds back up the trail. <laughs> okay, guys. Today we went uh, about 17 miles, about 2,600 feet up. And... We're all set up and tucking in. Call it a night. 
See you tomorrow.